doing this right here, just like this. Um, I already did some, did some quick uh, study on this right here. It's this video right here. Let's see if we can pause this. You got that. You got that light on it. You probably can't see it. It's this one over here, right here. But it's coming. It's called Reggie and Shaka Takedown. I would really say took him down, but anyway, they have Reggie and Shaka uh, take down. All right, let's play this right here, and we'll get into this. Um, this is where these homo allegation homo verses. Where they, actually, what happened? They were asked about some homo um, text in in the um, the coffin text, uh, uh im Heru or Heru the Book of the Dead, so-called Book of the Dead. And they basically, you know, basically did some step and fletch and they kind of danced around and said, oh, you know, um, I don't have the text. It depends on where it's coming from. And, and you know, I got to look at it when I go home and so forth and so on. But let me ask you about the Yarrick Oath. Let me ask you about the Yarrick Oath, all right? You know, this little flip mode thing going on. I like this part. Check this out. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, whole tech niggas. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, whole tech niggas. You had your chance. Anyway, here it goes right here. This is, this is, um, they vows, they vows, they vows to spank the Hebrews. You know? Like, yeah. Anyway, they vows to spank the Hebrews. Brother <laughs> Reggie and Shaka. Amos, right? Um, <laughs> anyway, let's go into it. So it's on Black News 102. So here's the clip. Here's, here's part of the clip right here. Right? Here's part of the clip right here. Now, of course, Sa Don King Netta. <laughs> A big fight. <laughs> Okay, okay, so what we're gonna do is kind of fast forward this. It's some little, some little, uh, Hotep nigga braggadocio shit right here, basically. But what we're gonna do is kind of scroll forward, right? Yeah. Let's scroll forward to the point, to, to around the, this is like 40 something minutes. So, views or whatever, it is what it is. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, let's go forward. Let's go forward. Check. That's almost a thousand dollars. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have some cheap copy from the internet. So when you go on the internet and you think you're quoting something from the from the from the text, you could be way off and way wrong. Okay, okay, okay. See, this is when they're on some whole tap nigga shit, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, and they turn around, and they say, Oh, with the white man, the white man, the white man, the white man. But you cannot take any text. Just show them the text. Like like our brothers look at the Hebrew and they're going through the Hebrew, they can read the Hebrew. They're saying that the translation might be off or might be wrong, right? They're saying the translation might be off or might be wrong, but then when you give them That's just... Okay, so you're talking about how expensive this is, so you really can't ask him any question unless you have this $1,000 text, but then he can go around asking us any question based on the text that we have, so forth and so on. You see what I'm saying? This selective, this selective BS. But let's get to that point right here where they asked him, I think it was uh, Zion Lex. Word, and it has nothing to do with ancient Egypt. And so, and so therefore, and therefore, I, I don't use the term. In fact, Dr. Ben will tell you that's true. Okay, okay, yeah, about metaphysical, metaphorical. He don't use the term Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben. All right. You know, Dr. Ben did his part. You know, why don't you just step up and, okay, see, see, they, they eventually walked away and everything. Let's, let, let's see if we can back this up. Let's see if we can back this up right here. I want to get to the exact spot where I think Zion Lex calls in. And, okay, yeah, here's where he's asking about this verse. Now, notice that um, when he asks, when when um, Zion Lex asks him about this coffin text thing, you saw a little of the clip right there where 
where Shaka Amos was like, well, you know, I, I can't comment on that. Cause I have to go home and look at the uh, spell 700 because which version are you working with? We're working with the Faulkner. And well, they say Faulkner. We call it the Faulkner, right? They're working the Faulkner verse. I mean, Faulkner translation, you know, because it's, it's recognized by Whitey, you know, as the, the, the real good translations. But you know what? The brother said, I got the, I got the glyphs. It, it's the glyphs right here. I wish they have a fax. I don't know if Sign Editor and them had a fax. They could fax it over and just read the Metuneter glyphs. Just translate fresh from that. There's many Hebrews that can translate from the so-called Masoretic, the Hebrew, the script. You know, whatever is the authorized source of that that you're working with or whatever the official source that you're working with. So what happens is that he calls in and acts about this whole gap thing, right? Where there's a certain area where it acts, um, where it talks about Geb having his penis between his son's butt cheeks and stuff like that. And they can't give no metaphysical or any kind of explanation whatsoever. They dance around it. But what Reggie, Slick Willie Reggie, proceeds to do, you know, it's like almost like he's like an undercover Hebrew to a degree, but he still want to hold on to some Egyptian shit. But he flips the whole thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> he flips it around and you really have to watch the whole clip. I, I know I should have had this already set up and everything, but I want to give at least my peeps, you know, some other people already know about this, but give my peeps a background. Cause I was asked a question about this very same thing, not from a homo point of view, but um, it's interesting right here. It's interesting right here. So let's uh back this up right around here. Okay, this, this, uh, we didn't finalize this, this right here. So, boom, let's, let's take it from here for a moment. Okay, let's play through, play through. It says this, and then when I go home and I look at the actual text and I go to 700 and it doesn't say that, then I answered your question for no reason. So for me, you can't even pose that question for me until you have the actual text. Wait, hold on, but aren't these guys supposed to know what they they said that the Egyptian, the Kemet, the Kamut, the Kamta, whatever, the, the, the Egyptian stuff is the stuff for our people. Our people should be about that and not the Bible. You know what I mean? They be asking us all sort of questions. You know, oh, you a Hebrew, you're an Israelite, you believe in the Bible? Well, uh, uh, what does this mean? Oh, such and such, do you know this story? Do you know that story? Do you know this place? Do you know that place? So forth and so on. You know, and one's handle, 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 handle the business, you know, but when you come to them, they're like, oh, wait, uh, hold on. What, you know, what text you going to, what, what translate, why, why, what translation? I thought you guys been to, to, to Egypt. You're all up in Egypt. You're Gwent there. You'll say you touch the stones and all that bullshit. You know what I mean? You're studying all these master teacher. So how come you can't answer that? So he gives this kind of little step in Fletcher. He dances around it. You know, but remember that side lock, Shaka, that side lock is the side lock of youth. It's the side lock of what the Greeks call Harpocrates, right? Harpo, like Oprah. Anyway, Harpocrates or in, 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 in Metuneta, something more of the effect of Harpai Kart, Harpai Kart, the little boy with the side lock. That's why you have his finger over his mouth, like, shh, no, shut the fuck up. All right, but no, you always talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. That's opposite of what you are saying you believe in, which makes me think you really don't know what you believe in because you're not practicing. You wear the side lock, which is the side lock of the baby boy, the side lock of youth, and you won't keep your finger on your mouth and shh. But let's listen to him. I'm just letting you know. Okay, so the people on your team put up Bible verses from the internet. And, and this is what I'm saying. We can't be selective. Mm -hmm. If we're going to come forth as a collective, we got to come forth as a collective. I so if I can't, if I can't use the internet, y'all can't use the internet. I have not quoted any Bible verses from the internet. Any Bible verses I quote. But I can't speak for them. I don't eat what they, I don't see what they eat. But they don't eat what I say. That's, I can't speak for them. This is the problem. See, this is why the Lord said something else that Reggie said, and I'll probably touch this in another video. It's something else that the, that, that, that Yahweh, we say Yahweh, others say no, you know, this is where my father's house has many mansions, but still, this is where, let's just say the Lord, right? For right now, right? Something he says, he says, don't lean on Egypt. You want to get a real accusation against Egypt? 
Because one time the Hebrews, the Israelites, our ancestors relied on Egypt against the advice of the Most High. And what happened? They let us down. I mean, we were wrong for disobeying the Most High. But when Reggie says they don't have a real, you know, if somebody's on trial, because I've been through this and that, you could look it up, my history, my record. But when you bring in somebody on trial, you got to have an accusation and they don't really have a real accusation. On a, on a certain level, I agree. Now, Zion Lexi, graduate from John Jay College, he probably understands this too as well. You know, this is correct. So I think the real accusation should be how, what was it, about five something? I'll, I'll get the info on this. How our ancestors relied on Egypt, dependent on Egypt, right? When uh, Sennacherib was invading Judah during the time of uh, Hezekiah or Hezek he Hezekiah, you know, during the time of Hezekiah and the Egyptians were like a broken reed, a broken reed, a broken stick, like, uh, you know, like you put your hand on the wall and your hand go through the wall. And when your hand go in the wall, a snake bites you. That's what the Lord says, something to that effect right there. And I think that should be the accusation that, you know, or the charge that we already, we already been there, done that. You see what I'm saying? We already been there, done that. So that's on the point of a real accusation, you know, for this Kemen on trial. So it's probably kind of late for that because they're already going through this pre-debate, debate, 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 debate. But let's just go on. See, 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 that's a, that, that, that's a very good question. Is he going to really answer the question? He's saying, like, like we as Hebrews, we have different beliefs or different, you know, we have um, some differences, right? We have some differences in interpretation of certain things, none of the main frame thing that we are Hebrews, right? And that the Bible shows us who we are, where we're from, how we got here, and also how to get up out of this situation, this spiritual city of Sodom and Egypt and overall Babylon confusion. But he's going to answer the question, baby boy. Let us worry about that. Okay. I mean, that's some bullshit right there. That's some straight up, that's some straight up, um, I, that's some I piece bullshit. The I piece bull, you know, from ancient, that's some I piece bullshit. That's some half of bullshit, you know, from some heteru bullshit. That's what that is right there. Let us worry about that. Let us worry about that. But they always flip around and say, well, you don't agree on the Star Davis. Some agree on the Star Davis. Some don't. Some think the white man the devil. Some think the white man not the devil. Huh? Yeah. The question still remains. Reggie, now I guess the topic I want to answer to you. What is the metaphysical concept behind this? All right. It's the it's the point that I'm going to. Uh, it's the point that I heard. I hope you heard my. Uh, it no, hold on for a moment, brothers and sisters, watchers. I hope you heard the question that the Zion, I think, Gorilla Hebrew, I think it's Gorilla Hebrew, asked. The point was, what's the metaphysical behind Geb? in the coffin text spell 700, um, sticking his penis between his son's buttocks. What is the metaphysical concept of that? But now what they're going to do is try to flip something on something called the Yarek Oath, which is what Yarek in Hebrew means the thigh, the thigh oath. What's up with this thigh oath? And you're going to see Reggie twist, twist this. He, he's going to really twist it up. He's not going to address nothing about what he's supposed to be defending, um, the whole tep niggas, uh, Kemta or Kemet, as they falsely call it, Kemet, but the Kemta, Kamta, ancient Egypt, Gibbet, uh, Mitzrayim. He doesn't, he doesn't touch on that. He just say, oh, well, well, really the whole point. I hope you heard me. And he flips this so many times. He flips the point around and this was so shocking, but then it really came down to the fact that these niggas really don't know what they are talking about. Really, beyond, beyond maybe past, you know, past, you know, the, the first or second degree. You know, they're now being put on the third degree to the third degree and they're melting. But listen. I'm failure to state a claim, right? First of all, who is the author of this, uh, of this particular, uh, quote that you're getting ready to? The quote comes from the coffin text, nigga. Ancient Egypt. Don't you know about this? 
Yeah, well, the Egyptian shit around the house, and they'll have one metuneter in the book. Uh, they don't have no one, one, um, um, part of Heru, you know, book of the coming forth by day and by night, so-called book of the dead. They don't have one copy in that whole, in, 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 in Sa Don King Netter's whole house. Ain't that some shit? But when they flip it on the Bible, they can go find a Bible. They can go find the Bible. You're going to see them later on reading and looking in the Bible to flip, you know, to flip an accusation about homo verses in the Bible. And then you hear Sadan King Netta, you know, oh, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. A homo verses in the Bible. Yeah. They're bringing out the homo verses. And then the, and there's no homo verses, you know, be, between vowing a vow where, where either a servant or a son puts his hand under the master's thigh. You understand? And they say, oh, this is like the balls. And this is like, this is like on his dick and on his balls. And this is some homosexual stuff. I mean, so I guess we both will be respectful. And we, there's both things in both our books. And what he does is what they call relativity. It's a, it's, a, it's a way of debate, you know, sophistry. You know, college, collegiate kind of bullshit. Sophistry. You know, where you try to bring down the other person's point to a relative. We all bad. We all have done something. Even though this other person is being accused of the crime, that person flips it around and says, have you done anything wrong in your life too? Yeah, but there's a dead body here. You know, in your coffin text. Talk to us about who, who wrote it. Who, 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 whose translation is? Who translated it? Yeah. I'm going to tell you the translation right now. Because I downloaded the PDF of the actual middle Okay, but see, my whole point is why you're doing that. Why, why are you doing? Why are you doing that? Right? Is that the first thing about it is that obviously, Gorilla Hebrew, you are not an expert on the metanetic text. Well, no, no, no. Let's stop for a moment. Obviously, y'all are not experts on the metanetic text, and and you're supposed to be defending Kemet. Y'all are not experts. Y'all don't have one. I mean, you would think of all this, all this idolatry, all these statues around the house and shit, they would have a scripture there. You know what I mean? They would have, okay, we can go to this version here. And okay, if we don't like the trans, you know, the translation of the white boys and everything, we got people who went to Egypt, studied under the master teachers. They can basically read the glyphs and give you a original, at least interpretation. We might not accept it, but at least we'll say, oh, at least that nigga know his shit. You know, that, that, that whole tap nigga know his shit. I don't agree with what he's saying, but he can read it. You know, be someone impressive on that particular level. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, but he, he's, the, he's gonna flip and say, you're not an expert. Neither are you, nigga. What the fuck you doing up here? Neither are you. You understand? You're a slick ass. I mean, you, 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 you could flip, you know, you could flip a reasoning around. That's precisely what I just said. You're going to the white man, right? And, and where the fuck are you going? Look at your clothes and everything. Where the fuck are you going? Who made those statues? The black man, where the fuck are you going? You wearing Egyptian clothes, where the fuck are you going? Because it is his translation and his fascination with ancient Kemet and sex that you're going to pull up, right? Now, now he says that's a white man's fascination, but you're going to see their own fascination with homo verses in the Bible coming up. So stay tuned. You're going to see their fascination. You know what I mean? Pull it up. Okay, go ahead. So when you pull it up, after you pull up and you read to us this story that didn't have anything to do with people, it has something to do with nectar. So there's some metaphysical situation going on, right? As you said, right? Metaphysical homosexuality? We can examine the text, right? But let me give you some real people. Abraham was real, right? Now, 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 this is interesting. Now he says, see, th here's the flip. Here's the flip. And, and y'all on February 8th, brothers, Akim, you got to watch this shit. <laughs> I already know you already know. You know, on your team, you're probably going through what you're going through because so, you already been engaging these niggas before, these the these Hotep niggas, Sa Don King Netters, Hotep niggas, right? You know, <laughs> The general already left the battlefield, and these niggas still running around fighting. Let's go on. Right. Well, and Jacob was real, right? Okay. And so we know about the Yerrick Oath, right? Yeah, the what? The Yerrick Oath. What do you mean? Yeah, the Yerrick Oath is... Let me, let me explain, because this nigga don't know his own shit. 
he'll know his own shit. But see how you flipped it? The Yerek Oath. The Yarek Yerek. Yerek is thigh in Hebrew, right? Or it can mean side. Yerek is thigh or side, right? You know what I mean? And now they're going to flip this, or, or Reggie nigga is going to flip this to be balls, you know, or the balls and everything. And he's even going to mistake the loins for the groin. A lot of us have done that because we haven't really studied. We think that when it says loins, right, L-O-I-N-S, even he begins to say it like lions, like it's lions or something like that. No, loins, L-O-I-N-S, not L-I-O-N.